Okay, now let's do some educational stuff that all fishermen needs to know because this is not just good for salmon, this is a lifesaver. It's this. What is this? What does he do? A spawn net. Remember, we were talking about our uh, obnoxious, oh, not obnoxious, annoying it was to set a, a marshmallow on a hook like this, okay? And the problem that you face every time it goes, every time it hits the water before two, three minutes, next thing you know, up goes your marshmallow floating on the surface. So there was no way to keep your marshmallow down on the hook so it can be effective because yeah, many fishes are interested and will bite, but it doesn't stay on the hook. So comes in the spawn net. The spawn net, yeah. People use it a lot in salmon fishing. So how does it work? Again, I feel very bad because probably in your city there are no spawn net. On the internet, yeah. And places, towns where there are salmon fishing, yes, you can find them. Okay. You have pink or lime color, you have salmon color, red purple, white, okay, see them, you have different colors, okay, spun net, so what does a spun net do, why do I need a spun net, when you open it up, the spawn net, as you can see, is got like layers. You see, when you unfold it like this, already the length, the space, the length that you would need, it's already, it's already there. And if you would have like a bigger bed that you want to wrap up in the spawn net, then you would probably instead of going a quarter you would go a full one like this okay so how does it work so this is your spawn net what you do for your marshmallow not to go away anymore upon how many you want to put is it three or four, let's say you want to put four, it's going to come up like this, okay? So how does it work? This technique is different. We're talking about uh, salmon fishing, the bait must float, it must not rest at the bottom of the river, you're not going to get no bite, at least not no salmon, okay? So the spawn net, once you're using your barber, it should float, okay, like this. So how does it float? If you have four marshmallow, you're gonna need those beads that are floating beads, which can only be found again in places and towns where there are salmon fishing. That's a, a specific technique that uh, salmon fishermen uses, which can be very useful in anything that you do. So if I have four, I'm going to put four beads, beads like this. Okay, so I open it up. So it's like alchemist. It's equivalent exchange. If let's say it wasn't marshmallow, but 
salmon eggs, you put in four eggs. Then you would put four, yeah, they float. So three, one more. So four. So what I do, I open my spoon. Uh, wait, okay. Let me see. So this is one, two, let me pause this. Okay, so this is my spawn net. I got four marshmallow and then I'm gonna throw in four, or they call them, uh -oh. floaters bait sack yeah floaters bait sack floaters so what i do like a tea bag i push them all together like this i can actually twist this you see and now <laughs> isn't that beautiful so i got my floaters to make sure that my bed doesn't rest on the river floor so it's gonna float and already marshmallow or light but they work so this is my bag and are we done no the most amazing fishing accessories that have been created in the 21st century is this you know nothing about it, but don't worry. This is something, whether you fish salmon or anything, you don't want to leave home without it. Take a good look at it, the spider th thread. What does it do? So you see I'm holding this, but how am I going to make a knot? That and comes in the spider thread. Spider tread is not free. You don't have no nothing. All you do, like this, you take your spider tread, okay, and then you go around it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then what you do, you pull, and ta-da, it remains firmly tight like this my friend yes that's what the spider thread does for you yeah anything that cannot be tied a fish to a hook to fish for walleye that keeps dismantled that keeps dissolved soon as they hit the water it's off your hook not anymore this does it. This is magic. It's got to be one of the best uh, invention of the first, uh, uh, the best engineering uh, accessories for fishing. It's uh, that's got to be it. If I would take a hook, take a frozen minnow, bang, walleye after walleye. What does it do for you? then you don't need to have skill anymore to catch walleye. You can enjoy walleye fishing. All you have to do is use the spider thread. And once I have it tied like this, yeah, but I don't understand what do I do next? What do you do next? It's like this. So you would cut this. Okay. Okay, so far so good. All right, and as you can see, it's also colorful, right? Yeah, but what do I do? That's why I'm guessing that most people are using um, a small hook, a number six hook, because now what you do, 
you got to make sure what you do. You make sure that the hook, okay? You make sure that the hook goes to one or two, okay? Yeah. And now your stuff would be like floating like this, okay? Anyone who wraps it will get shanked bad, all right? So um, it could be more artistic, but I'm just giving you an example or it works. The tea bag, the famous salmon tea bag with the spider tread, with the spun net, nothing goes away. It's going to dissolve maybe, but you can be sure if there's no bite, it's not because this is this set, set of a drift and it's gone somewhere, no. This is how you maintain anything that you want to tie that's extremely complicated to do. The spider tread is got to be the most, the best invention for fishing since the hook itself, because the hook, oh sure, you're a fish, <laughs> but the tread makes your life and your fishing skill, that's a fishing skill upgrade. Yeah. And I will prove it. I will do some wildlife fishing with minnows and show you how easy it is. You, the inventions are there, but guys, you must be creative. You must use your head. This is made for salmon fishing, but me, I'm thinking beyond sa sa uh, salmon because fishing people like us do all kinds of things. So this is it. And if you look right here, that's the tip of your hook. Okay. So when a fish grabs it, you know, it works, but you must be aware that you might lose some fish as well all right now i know i know i know you're asking yourself that's a waste of money this guy is out of his mind why so many different colors why so many span net why not just buy one look there seems to be enough for at least one, two seasons, easy. And you know what? You are right. You are right, so right, so right. Okay, so why is it this, by the way, the spider tread, if you find you buy minimum three of them, one in your car, one in your ta tackle box, one at home. And as of now, 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 they're giving you plenty of thread. As you know, they've been cutting down on so many things. If you can buy three or four, go. They're about six, seven dollars. When I went myself, this was the last one. That's why I don't have two. This is so useful. This becomes like a Swiss knife on everyday tools, which fishermen can help them. Things that you want to tie, but uh, there's no way. There's a new way now. Look. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the spider tread does. Yeah. You, you just hold things down, pum, 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 eight times. You go around it, you pull, and that's it. Style. So your stuff with the barber on top would be floating like this. Okay, so we were saying that no, I don't want to buy this many. Why does this guy bought so many? Because if you go out fishing today and the style man hits on this collar, you're very happy. And you go back the next day, you present the exact same thing. They don't want it. And now they're onto this. 
huh? Well, yeah, the guy next to you is, is getting hit. The hit and said, huh, what? And he's showing you, I'm using purple. Uh, but you, you, no, you, you only have lime. And that's why upon the day, what they feel like it, I will present them that color. Yeah, but that's not quite clear. I don't understand. What do you mean? You're not going to be walking around with five. Yes, you are right. So how does it work? Let me tell you. So what I would do, let me do one for you so you get the idea about what I want to do. Okay. I'm going to open the red. I'm going to open them all. But let me give you an idea, okay? This is what you must do. And then you're safe. And I'm going to tell you why. It's not just, oh, I, it's tanking and there's no uh, scientific proof of that. So I'm happy with that lead. I think... I'm good. I'm going to use some scissors. Cut it. Yeah. So, this is cut. This is about like three inches, I think. You see it? Lay it down. This, I'm going to just cut it into two, like this. You see? I take this, I put it in like so, now I take, what you can do, you can use different uh, uh, colors, uh, floaters of different colors to, to make the, to make it appealing. So this is already red, so I'm going to use lime to give it like um, a different look okay and maybe uh, orange so I put four I can even put five you know maybe you you're gonna be better than, than I am you're gonna be more creative because that's what it is you know I'm giving you a, 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 a blueprint or a path and then you know, you're going to use your, uh, your, your sense of artistry and your, your mind and you're going to end up doing better than I do. So what I do now, I just wrap it up like this. Yeah. Be creative. Look. You see how colorful this looks? You see? So the fish gets different look. Of course, it becomes a problem. You oh, you're holding it like like this. Or you're gonna make a knot. If there, if you don't have the spider the spider thread, that's the only thing that can save you. So I'm holding it down like this. And then I go eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bingo. Aha. <laughs> How about that? Look, it's as if it's like a machine did it, staple it. That's the Swiss knife of, of fishing. You can fix, set up so many baits for uh, different uh, fish. So what I'm gonna do, the extra, I just cut it like this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but that's not saying enough what we need to do. I know, I know, I know. So this is the presentation, okay? And then I'll just 
put my hook sideways and come out and those floaters right here will have help it float and go left and right okay so sir we still don't understand your point so you said you're not gonna be walking around with all five but you're planning on going fishing and you don't know which colors is gonna be the bomb is gonna be the most attractive so what I'm what I will do I will get three of this color three of this color three of this color three of this color hold on then what I would do I would put three 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 so I have 15 different stuff in my uh, I would have one there like this so you see I would have three colors three colors three colors and very important my uh, bait organizer as a speeder so they don't so they don't move you see each compartment is protected because this is marshmallow you don't want them if they all get together they're gonna get marshy and uh, stick together once you've done all your colors you put this in, in the fridge and it stays fresh until you're ready to go uh, salmon fishing this is effortless you just cast and let it sit and they'll come to you the most efficient beside eggs is this it's this yes so this one is done i'm gonna put it in there and do two more and two more yeah until the whole box so i encourage you get yourself a salmon bed organizer and then uh, when you get to that town i know you can get some uh, spider thread online but uh, I encourage you, me I know for sure I'm going to be looking and as uh, soon as I run into a place I'm going to buy uh, at least three more and that's it. People like us who are like very busy fishing, we're going to use this, it's going to have so many use, so many things that can make the difference and when they are fishing so this is it you know why they're there now what's the purpose of it and sadly enough you cannot find them at any fishing shop except in that town so if you're living in Quebec there's none you can go to sell to the, the, the Catlan uh, any fishing uh, shop they don't have it you're gonna have to travel to Ontario provinces you'll get a chance to find them same thing for this those are the floaters they have uh, different bags different colors um, but uh, sadly enough all you order online okay guys so at least now you know what is the meaning what's the purpose of the spawn net thank you for watching and good luck with your next salmon trip fishing